From the first image of our very own black hole to deflecting an asteroid, 2022 was a monumental year in space. So I thought, what better way to bring in the new year than reflecting on all of the crazy events of 2022. Sit back and relax because it was a huge year. One of my absolute favorite milestones of 2022 was back in May when we received the first image of our very own supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A star. Now, let's be clear, it does kind of look just like a little blob of orange light, but it is so much more than that. The black hole is 27,000 light years away from us, and because it's so far away, it appears to us to have about the same size in the sky as a donut on the moon. I mean, can you imagine trying to take a picture of a donut on the moon? You're gonna need a big camera, and that's exactly what they did. By linking together eight radio observatories across the planet, they were able to form, essentially, a single Earth-sized telescope. All of these telescopes would then point towards Sag A star and image it in unison for multiple nights in a row. Then, after hours of tedious data processing, they were able to create the first image of our black hole, confirming its existence. Everything pointed towards the black hole existing, and for years we observed stars being thrown around the black hole at unprecedented speeds, and now we can see it. How can we talk about 2022 without mentioning the James Webb Space Telescope? This extraordinary telescope broke countless records and fundamentally changed our understanding of some areas in astronomy within just a few months of operation. The telescope was launched back on Christmas Day in 2021 and spent six months flying out to its home at Lagrange Point 2. Now, everyone was worried that something might go wrong and the $10 billion and years of work would have gone to waste. But JWST deployed according to plan and begun observing the universe. First, I think we should look at some of the best images from JWST because they are actually breathtaking. A crowd favorite has to be this beautiful image of the Carina Nebula, the orange clouds of gas and dust being shaped into these magnificent cliffs by the stars. Now, my personal favorite would have to be this image of a star being born. At the center of this beautiful hourglass is a hot clump of gas that is in the process of forming a new star. It is just 100,000 years old. And for comparison, our sun is around four and a half billion years old. We even got to see a few planets a little closer to home. Both Neptune and Jupiter were imaged, revealing their cute little rings. And we can't talk about JWST without looking at this image. You are looking at a galactic pileup known as Pandora's Cluster. Nearly everything you see is a galaxy, just as massive and intricate as our very own Milky Way. And if you look really closely, down here, you can make out this tiny red spot. We think that this is one of, if not, the most distant galaxy ever seen. We are seeing the galaxy as it was just 450 million years after the Big Bang. But ultimately, we are only just getting started with JWST, and there is so much more to come. I mean, this telescope should operate for at least the next 20 years, and we've already seen what it's capable of in just six months. DART, meaning Double Asteroid Redirection Test, was a mission that aimed to smash a spacecraft into an asteroid in an attempt to redirect the asteroid. Up until now, we hadn't really begun testing any defense technology leaving us vulnerable to potential planet-killing asteroids. And I don't think that's a position that we want to be in. I mean, just ask the dinosaurs. So back in September, the spacecraft reached its target, 
The asteroid Dimorphos, a small moonlet that orbits a larger asteroid named Didymus. By smashing the 500 kilogram spacecraft into the 5 billion kilogram asteroid, they were aiming to affect it enough to change its orbital period by at least 73 seconds, when in reality, they were actually able to shorten the orbit by 32 minutes, which is more than 25 times greater than the satisfactory result. This is just a huge first step for humanity towards creating a future where we can worry less about being dealt the same fate as the dinosaurs. Over on the red planet, a lot actually happened in 2022. NASA's Mars rover Perseverance continued to make some groundbreaking discoveries throughout the year, and back in April, it sent home this beautiful footage of Mars's moon Phobos eclipsing the sun. Percy is still hunting hard for evidence of past or potentially current life on Mars, collecting samples in preparation for when we eventually launch the sample return mission, in an attempt to bring Martian samples back to Earth for the first time. On a slightly more depressing note, just a few days ago, right at the end of 2022, NASA had to declare the Mars InSight lander officially dead. The lander had its solar panels covered in dust, which caused it to lose communication capability. In a quite heartfelt final message, InSight sent home saying, my power's really low, so this may be the last image I can send. Don't worry about me though. My time here has been both productive and serene. If I can keep talking to my missions team, I will. But I'll be signing off here soon. Thanks for staying with me. Rest in peace, Insight. In 2022, we officially confirmed the discovery of over 5,000 exoplanets and made great strides in our ability to detect and categorize them. There are a number of telescopes that should be launching in the coming years that should exponentially increase these numbers. From finding planets with multiple suns, planets with oceans of lava where it rains glass, to strange worlds you'd never even dream of. 2022 had it all, and I can guarantee that this is just the beginning. A black hole about 10 times more massive than our sun was found just 1600 light years away from Earth in 2022. This makes it the closest black hole that we've ever discovered, and on a cosmic scale, this thing is really just next door. Interestingly though, this black hole actually orbits a sun-like star, and this is the first time that we've confirmed the existence of such systems. Now listen, I wouldn't be too worried about this black hole if I were you. It's almost certainly not even the closest one to us. Current estimates show that the Milky Way should have around 100 million black holes of this size, wandering the galaxy, hunting for stars and planets to consume. Realistically, the chances of us ever encountering one are unbelievably low, so don't worry too much. In October of last year, the Earth was struck by the most powerful gamma ray burst ever observed. Now, granted, the source of this GRB was around 2.4 billion light years away from Earth, but even at this insane range, it was powerful enough to affect the atmosphere here on Earth. Now, don't freak out too much, but GRBs are literally the most energetic explosions in the universe, apart from the Big Bang, and they occur during the formation of a black hole. But since they're so rare and often really, really far away, we aren't in any real danger. Now, granted, if a more local GRB occurred, say one within our region of the Milky Way, we could be in some trouble. 
I covered this in my recent video, which you can watch over here, but we've actually been hit by one before, which caused the second largest mass extinction event on the planet. Regardless, this event was just amazing to witness, some astronomers even going as far to say it's a once in a hundred or even a thousand year type event that we were so fortunate to observe from the safety of our little blue planet. Now let's finish up by talking about Artemis 1, our journey back to the moon. This was the first mission in the Artemis program, the mission tasked with taking humanity back to the moon to establish a permanent moon base there. Now, granted there were some complications and launch delays, but eventually in November, the SLS rocket launched Orion into space to complete a test run of what we will see next year in the first manned flight of Artemis. This mission was really about laying the groundwork and ensuring that the systems were safe for human spaceflight, and everything went perfectly. We haven't been back to the moon in more than 50 years, and now, thanks to Artemis, we will be heading back next year, and I can't wait.